Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to take examples where we can make use of the appropriate property that we have learned in the Z transform. Okay, so let us start with this problem. So this problem says find Z transform of a to the power n cos n theta and a to the power n sin n theta. Okay, the moment you look at this uh, sequence, you will uh, the thing that strike on your mind is the change of scale property right because a to the power n into f of n so here in this problem we are going to make use of change of scale property okay so let us uh, write it down by the by the change of scale property by the change of scale property we have so what we have we have Z transform of a to the power n into f of n is equal to f of z by a. This is what this change of scale property is. Okay, now if you compare this with the first one, so what we have, we have f of n is equal to cos n theta. So you can write it here, let f of n is equal to cos n theta okay so what is z transform of f of n z transform of f of n is z transform of cos n theta what is z transform of cos n theta that is z square minus z cos theta upon z square minus 2 z cos theta plus 1 okay and we denote this by f of z these are the notations okay now let us make use of this property to get z transform of a to the power n into cos n theta so z transform of a to the power n into cos n theta is equal to what is it f of z by a so what we are going to do is I will I'm going to write it as uh, f of z and z changes to z by a simple so this can be written as write down this z square minus z cos theta upon z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 and you have to replace z to z by a now write it down so this is z square by a square because when you replace z by z z to z by a so z by a whole square so this is z square minus z square by a square minus z by a cos theta upon z square by a square minus 2 z by a cos theta plus 1 now you can take the lcm or here so what you will be getting you will be getting it to be as say z square minus az cos theta whole divided by a square now take lcm or here so what you will be getting z square minus 2 a z cos theta plus a square divided by a square okay so this a square a square get cancelled and we remain with z transform of a to the power n cos n theta is equal to z square minus a z cos theta whole divided by z square minus 2 a z cos theta plus a square and this is nothing but the required z transform for this a to the power n cos a theta and to get this z transform we have uh, used the change of scale property okay so z transform of a to the power n cos theta is z square minus a z cos theta divided by z square minus twice a z cos theta plus a square now 
on the very similar lines you can find out the z transform of a to the power n sin n theta so hardly take uh, a minute to get the z transform of this a to the power n sin n theta the only change would be instead of sin it would be then cos it's instead of cos it should be just sin okay so z transform of sin n theta okay so now this transformation will get changed to so this z sin theta okay then z transform of a to the power n sin n theta would be this now you just have to replace z to z by a simple okay rest of the thing as it is so here i will be getting a and here i will be getting a square so one a get cancelled with this square and we remain with one a okay and this a we will take in the some changes some more changes z sin theta by a okay so this a will come to the numerator and i will be getting this to be what is it i will get this to be uh, a z sin theta okay so this is the z transform of a to the power n into sin n theta okay now uh, this completes the z transform in the very next learning video we are going to start with the inverse z transform under which we have uh, three different methods to find out inverse uh, of z trans inverse z transform of uh, the functions and after that we will take the application part of z transform so thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics thank you